Hello, everybody. I'm Secretary Jennifer Granholm here with Dr. Susan Hamm, and she is the director of our Geothermal Technologies Office. And so it is our pleasure to welcome you all to this geyser side chat. Fireside, geyser side, you get it. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the awesome potential in geothermal energy. Now, uh, geothermal energy is not only what gets geysers like Old Faithful in Yellowstone and the one in the picture behind me to erupt, it's also this totally amazing resource that may be the solution to some of the biggest challenges we face on our way to a clean energy future. So our geothermal technologies office, which is led by Sue, actually works day in and day out to power more of America with geothermal energy. And so in a bit, we're gonna talk about their, um, their plan over several years and their vision about how this is gonna happen in the United States. But first, Sue, for those who are watching this, who don't quite understand how geothermal works, maybe you can break it down for them. So tell us what is geothermal? Secretary, I am I am so grateful that you were able to sit down with us for this geyser side chat. It's wonderful to have you here. Uh, geothermal is a form of renewable energy that comes from the heat beneath our feet. Basically, it's energy that's found below the ground in the earth. It's a clean source of energy that is very dependable and it's always available. It's also a flexible source of energy, meaning it can be used for power production, for heating and cooling of homes and businesses and communities and energy storage. Okay, so, but wait a second, is it everywhere? There is heat beneath the feet throughout the entire country. But I am wondering what your plans are at the Geothermal Technologies Office to overcome the technical challenges, the length of time, how, and once we do that, how do we spread awareness? How do we get more people involved in harnessing geothermal energy? That's a great question. It's a perfect segue to tar start talking about our multi-year program plan. It's a tool that DOE's programs use to help roadmap our R&D activities. Every five years, the Geothermal Technologies Office develops a multi-year program plan, an MYPP, to show how its overarching goals, priorities, roadmaps, and methodologies align with DOE administrative mission objectives. It sets our course and it helps ensure that we're aiming at those right targets. Okay, that's great. Planning is power, um, but I, I want to hear more about that. Like, what what's What's the plan? How does it drive the geothermal office's research? How is it going to align your work with the president's goals about uh, clean clean energy? You know, along with that 100% clean electricity goal, the administration also wants to put the country on track to reaching net zero emissions by 2050. So what steps will your office be taking over the next five years to help get to those goals? Well, the main thing, right, is our goal is to boost geothermal deployment overall which can then play a key role towards reaching those clean energy goals of the administration. As an example, one of the administration's goals is to reduce carbon emissions. Our plan supports that goal with the strategic objective to decarbonize building heating and cooling through geothermal district heating systems and heat pumps. All right. And so I'm wondering if you can say a word about what that big scale looks like. What what's the, does the plan, for example, envision for adding geothermal energy capacity to our nation's electric grid. The nation's electric grid is going to seriously benefit from geothermal in the future. We are committed to making aggressive improvements in geothermal resource deployment that will support the electricity grid. We're aiming to supply at least 60 gigawatts of utility scale deployment by 2050. That's a huge leap towards that net zero economy. And just to put it in perspective, 60 gigawatts of capacity is going to be about 8% of electricity generation in 2050. That's huge and that's a floor. We think it can go much higher than that, but that's the floor. 8% of the country's generated electricity will be geothermal. Okay, all right. So I hear you under promising and over delivering potentially. Um, I'm curious though, I mean, if the 60 gigawatts is a huge amount, right? But we, we do have to add lots of gigawatts, hundreds, maybe even uh, oh, you know over a thousand, potentially up to 2000 gigawatts if we're gonna completely go uh, clean electricity, zero carbon electricity. So the question that I have is, um, we, we have a big goal to get 30 gigawatts, for example, from offshore wind, that too, I think is uh, more of a floor than a ceiling, but that's that we have that goal by 2030. 
The 60 gigawatts that you're talking about is by 2050. But if we were really to crack the code on these advanced geothermal systems and this technology, I mean, if geothermal is everywhere, I mean, someplace it's going to be more uh, cost effective because you don't want to drill, you know, four miles down. But, but uh, if we were able to really access a much greater amount of geothermal, I mean, could this be a significant, significant baseload power for the country? It absolutely could, right? I mean, one of the things is that the Department of Energy is looking at, can we put in a major a major effort to really try to push the enhanced geothermal systems research over the next few years to get, you know, 10 to 15 gigawatts of enhanced geothermal systems online and within like the next decade, right? That's where we want to go. Um, and there are a couple of things that we'll need, right? It's going to take, it's going to take a money investment and it's not just the Department of Energy. We're going to need the Department of Interior is responsible for geologic mapping. And so having the USGS, US Geological Survey involved in helping us do really granular resource mapping so we can see at you know, the very small scale, where are the hottest spots? Where are we going to find the best heat resources? And that's gonna be really important. Um, just quickly, the one, one thing that has stood out to me, we haven't really discussed yet is what your multi-year plan has to say, for example, about using geothermal energy to, to um, advance environmental and maybe economic and social justice. One of the things that's really important about um, to understand about geothermal is that it has a very small physical footprint and a lot of different ways that you can use it, as we've mentioned, for power production and for heating and cooling and for energy storage. And all of that together means that this is a technology that can be used in rural communities, in urban centers, in islanded communities, in remote communities, there, it can be used across the United States in so many different ways. And that is going to allow us to help the administration hit our, our goals of 40% of the benefits going to disadvantaged communities. And we're really, really looking forward to that. We're especially looking forward to some of our programs that were again proposed for FY22, really looking to get geothermal into communities that haven't even necessarily thought about it already. I just cannot wait to see it all develop. Speaking of, speaking of which, what do you hope to achieve if you can be specific with the plan, with the multi-year plan? More geothermal deployment. That is, of course, what we really want to get to. But we got to do the R&D, the research and development and demonstration first. We also want the geothermal community to grow. That means engaging more stakeholders, but also a broader range of stakeholders. Our mission is to increase deployment through research, development, and demonstration, and that won't happen unless we continue to spread the word about geothermal. The plan's just a roadmap, right? It's a roadmap for us as we ramp up our existing relationships and engage with new stakeholders. We wanna forge partnerships to accelerate the deployment of geothermal energy as we work together towards this clean energy future that we're all driving towards. This means continuing to engage with the geothermal industry, with DOE national laboratories, academia, and others to ensure we have the expertise to advance geothermal exponentially. And it also means reaching out to state and local governments and the public to help them understand geothermal and its potential in their areas. Well, okay, so this is great, of course, because um, the plan really gives you, hopefully, a roadmap, right, for building those relationships. And I'm wondering what you think it will mean for um, our efforts to actually address climate change. Climate change is increasingly affecting our, our quality of life and it's highlighting the urgent need to transition to clean energy. This plan identifies our plans for advancing geothermal technologies in order to slash the nation's emissions by 2050. The new infrastructure bill has dedicated funding to renewable energy R&D including $84 million for geothermal projects in that enhanced geothermal system space. And the plan is going to help us prioritize our, res our resources in the office to achieve the goals we've laid out. Well, I, I mentioned so, um, a little bit earlier that there is great potential for job creation in geothermal. If you can just say a word about like the, how, first of all, how your office is gonna help the administration tap that potential and what are the kind of jobs? That's a great question. You know, when we're talking about 60 or more gigawatts of power production in 2050, we're talking about a quarter of a million, a quarter of a million jobs potentially, wow. right? You are talking about drillers. 
You are talking about operators. You are talking about people who build roads. You know, all these different kinds of, of things, everything that all the jobs that an oil and gas organization would have, we're going to have those two in geothermal at a very large space. And then once you once you add in the, the geothermal heating and cooling space, you're looking at another slew of jobs of about the same amount, right? Where the, that's folks where once you have a, a heat pump or a district energy, there's a lot, there's gonna be, you know, continual maintenance and making sure that things are working the same way there is for any HVAC system. And if you think about the number of HVAC jobs, there's a lot of that. And so we anticipate that there will be a ton of job opportunity across a whole slew of, of job categories. What about, man, what about the technology itself, the equipment, uh, et cetera, and manufacturing that? Is that an opportunity for the U.S. too? Well, what we always say is you can't import a borehole, right? I love it. Go after it. 60 gigawatts. That's enough to power, what, 129 million homes or businesses? So. So, and if that's the, if, if we're thinking that's the floor, there could be a lot more after that. So just know that I'm going to be cheering you on at every step. I bet those who have tuned in uh, will be too. Hopefully there are some folks who have tuned in who have not really thought about uh, geothermal before. So hopefully you can get excited about it along with us. We're almost out of time. Let me just ask you quickly two more questions. What are, do you think, are the key messages that you want stakeholders to take away from the multi-year plan and, and the office's plans? Well, we want them to know that we are, we in the Geothermal Technologies Office and DOE are working really hard to reduce geothermal development and development costs and risks. And we'll get there by researching and advancing these new technologies that address exploration and operational challenges. We're also working on identifying and solving the non-technical barriers like development timelines that we mentioned earlier. And we're pursuing data collection to support technical and non-technical work. We're also working hard to raise awareness and improve the understanding of geothermal with new stakeholders by conducting outreach to new communities, funding competitions at the collegiate level to bring in younger and excited folks looking at these technologies, and partnering with other DOE offices to spread the word about geothermal. We're working hard so everyone can benefit from geothermal energy. Love it, love it, of course, fantastic. Secretary Granholm, it has truly been a pleasure to sit down and talk with you during this geyser side chat. So that's our plan at a high level. Knowing that, what do you as our secretary want to see coming out of the Geothermal Technologies Office? Oh man, I want to see deployment, deployment, deployment of geothermal. And of course, with your plan guiding your work, I have no doubt that's where we're headed. So we got the will, we got the skill. Uh, to leverage this resource. So let's get going. And uh, with that, I just want to thank you so much, Sue, for, for joining me today. And thanks to all of our viewers for tuning in. Geothermal is hot. <laughs>